My name is Rook. I currently play drums for Machine Gun Kelly. Initiation, initiation. Uh, my name is Rookie. I'm not a drummer. I'm an intern. Yeah, it was a good couple years of that. Get him off. Don't let him go through. No, get him. I can't walk from a bag. I can't walk. I'm a bag. But uh, I definitely made it through it. Uh, there was a lot of wild things I had to do. Um, a lot of push-ups. One, two, three, four. A lot of people know. Um, just a lot of funny stuff. It, it wasn't. It wasn't anything that anybody wouldn't do to. Not. I can't say anybody because most some people probably wouldn't have went to to certain extents that I did to achieve this because they don't have what it, you don't. It's all like a. It's a mental thing. Like if you don't have it mentally and you don't really want it, you won't get it. What was driving me? Throughout the whole thing um, is, like I said, I, I'm in love with the drums. I've always been in love with the drums. I've never, I've never ever had a day to where I thought like, uh, you know, maybe drums just aren't gonna work out. Maybe it's just not gonna work out for you. I, I, I didn't give myself that option. So, for me, once I got that opportunity, I knew I was, you know, I'm from Toledo, Ohio. This is a small city. There's not nothing going on there. People don't get opportunities like that where I'm from. So it's it was on me like this is your this is it. So if you if you mess this up, you're gonna be sitting right back in Toledo. Like, all right, now what? The way I usually prepare for a show, I don't a lot of people are like, oh like you know, like come up like, oh what's our you don't wanna be like hype, like are you excited? And and I I'm like more like the like conservative before show type. Like I just kinda like to zone out by myself and just like just be with my sticks and kind of just like be in my own little world. And uh, that's kind of like what just gets me going. Cause like the whole, like soon as I go out there on stage, that's my, that's like your, that adrenaline rush hits you. So it's like, I don't need that hype before the show. So I think the highest achievement I, now yeah, to date now would probably for me be, um, like I said, WrestleMania, we've done Jimmy Kimmel, Jay Leno, um, like the Warp Tour, though, because those are things like we're not, you know, like I said, being from a small town and, and growing up loving this lifestyle. So like when you do those those type of things for me, it's like it's not only happy for me, it, it makes me happy that like my my dad gets to he loves the fact that I'm doing what he wanted to do, and so for me that's like awesome because he almost gets to like live what he wanted to do through me. And like for him, those moments are like so powerful. And so like, it only, it doesn't only like make me happy, you know, cause obviously for me, that's like what I've always wanted to do is that's a dream, you know? So, but for my family and for people who have, you know, watched me play since I was two years old, it's like, that's awesome to me. It's like the people that get that have always been around and they're like, yo, it's so like, you did it. Like that's awesome. When I'm on the road, audio equipment, in-ears, I love them. I can't lie. I had never played with in-ears before until, was this year? This year, last year. And um, it made like the world a difference because especially being a drummer, like the movement and, um, and every time having to use like generic headphones falling out of your ear, it's, it's, it's too much. Like in-ears changed my whole world and they just sound great. So that and um, Definitely like speakers in the hotel rooms and stuff because I, I hate being in rooms with like no music. It's like such a weird vibe. I like to have like a vibe in the room. So like definitely like a room speaker. That's like another essential for me too as well. Uh, any advice for any other musicians or fans or anything like that from me personally would be um, if you're a musician and you and you want this to be your whole entire life then you need to dedicate your whole entire life to it. That doesn't mean half of it, some of it. It has to be all of it or it won't work. Because at the end of the day, there's always going to be somebody that does the exact same thing as you. And there's always going to be somebody who just wants it that little bit more. And that's where you get those levels of, of people 
in, in what you do. So I, my advice would, would be to, if, if this is what you want to do with your life, to do it to the fullest, um, fan-wise, I, I love the fans. Like they're, I'm so appreciative for every, I mean, every fan that I've ever encountered been super genuine, super nice. They're they're all into the movement. They're not just into me. They're into the whole band, the group, EST, the movement. It's just it's a great thing to be a part of, and, and, and especially with the way that the world is nowadays. And you know, it needs to be some positivity. And I think that's what this movement and you know what I'm trying to do too is about. And that to me is great. Thank <laughs> you.